So when he ascended up to heaven, and then he sent the Holy Spirit. He sent the Holy Spirit, and when he sent the Holy Spirit, the disciples received the Holy Spirit inside of them, and the Holy Spirit entered them and made them a new creation. And God lived inside his disciples and lived inside his believers through the Holy Spirit. Just like the Father lived inside his Son through the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ lives inside of us through the Holy Spirit. And just like the, Jesus was obedient to the Father and did everything that the Father wanted Him to do, we need to be obedient to Jesus Christ and do everything that Jesus Christ wants us to do. Because this is very in essential to understand how we can love one another. If we don't understand this, we will never be able to love one another. We won't be able to understand how exactly are we supposed to love one another. Are we supposed to find this love in ourselves somewhere? How am I supposed to love our neighbor? We went through the book, uh, we went through chapter 8 of Romans, we're going to go through it again. It says, There is now therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. So he's saying there's a law, but no one could fulfill that law. Why? Because we have the flesh. A person who does not have the Spirit inside of him cannot fulfill the law. But he says that the law must be fulfilled through who? Through those who do not walk after the flesh, but walk after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So he's saying, who are those who walk after the flesh? Those who have their minds set upon the flesh, and those who have their minds set upon the things of the flesh. But who are those who walk after the Spirit? Those who have their minds set upon the Spirit, and the things of the Spirit. Be because the carnal mind is enmity against God and is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So he's saying the carnal mind, the flesh, is enmity against God and it can't be subject to the law of God. So he's saying the flesh cannot obey the law of God. The flesh cannot obey God's law because it's against God's law and it doesn't want to be under God's law. But ye are not in the flesh but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. So he's saying a person in the flesh cannot please God. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. A person who does not have the Holy Spirit, a person who is not a child of God, cannot please God and cannot satisfy God. Again, why? Because God is only satisfied with His own work. God is not looking for this. This is God and this is you doing works on your own and God is just looking and looking at your good works. No, God is looking for this. God is looking for union. He's looking for oneness and He wants to work through us and He wants to do the work and He wants to manifest Himself through us. Like we said, Jesus Christ, it was not this. He was not walking upon the earth and just thinking what the Father wanted him to do and trying to please the Father in his own strength. No, he died. He surrendered his will and he surrendered his life to the Father and he yielded. He yielded to the Holy Spirit and he did everything that the Spirit wanted him to do and where the Spirit directed him. He died. He died to himself. He died to his own will and the Father directed him and the Father led him. And this is the same kind of... And this is the same kind of relationship that God wants to ha us to have with Him through the